Spanish Regime During the Spanish Regime in the Philippines, there were several significant developments in science and technology, although they were influenced by various factors such as colonial policies, the influence of religious orders, and economic considerations. Here are some key points highlighting these developments. Educational System The Spanish colonial government established schools and educational institutions in the Philippines. Primary education was largely carried out by missionaries and parish priests, while higher education was provided by schools set up by religious orders. Schools like the Colegio de San Ildefonso, Colegio de San Ignacio, Colegio de San Jose, and Ateneo de Manila were founded by various religious orders and offered courses including science subjects such as physics, chemistry, natural history, and mathematics. Royal and Pontifical University of Santo Tomas The University of Santo Tomas, UST, run by the Dominicans, played a central role in education and scientific pursuits. It was established as a college in 1611 and granted degrees in various fields including theology, philosophy, humanities, and later, medicine, pharmacy, and jurisprudence. UST remained the highest institution of learning throughout the Spanish regime. Scientific research and medicine, religious orders like the Jesuits and Dominicans established charity hospitals, where rudimentary scientific work took place. Research in these institutions focused on pharmacy and medicine, particularly the study of infectious diseases. Spanish missionaries catalogued Philippine plants, especially those with medicinal properties. Notable among these efforts was Father Fernando de Sta. Maria's Manual de Medicinas Caseras, which was published in 1763. Manila Observatory The Manila Observatory was founded in 1865 by Jesuits and played a crucial role in meteorological, seismological, and astronomical studies. It collected observations and issued the first public typhoon warning in 1879. The observatory services were highly valued by both the scientific and business communities. Economic Development and Trade Economic development in the Philippines during this period was largely driven by exports of agricultural products like rice, hemp, sugar, tobacco, and indigo. The Manila-Acapulco galleon trade brought prosperity to Manila as an entrepot for Asian goods, but it also led to the neglect of agriculture and local industries. The Royal Economic Society of Friends of the Philippines, Real Sociedad Económica de los Amigos del País de Filipinas, was established in 1780 to promote economic development, including the cultivation of various crops and the development of the silk industry. Technological Innovations Spanish colonizers introduced technologies such as town planning and construction with stone, brick, and tiles. Religious orders were often involved in building projects, and skilled artisans were sometimes brought in from China to assist. Shipbuilding industry was developed in the Philippines, and native shipbuilders were involved in constructing vessels for trade and defense. Challenges and inequality Despite some advancements, there were challenges and inequalities. The focus on exports and the Manila-Acapulco galleon trade led to disparities in wealth distribution. Large landowners, including religious orders and mestizos, concentrated wealth, while many in the countryside remained poor and landless. The unequal distribution of wealth along with abuses by Spanish friars and officials, contributed to social unrest and Philippine nationalism. Limitations of education and research, higher education, particularly in the sciences, was limited in scope and accessibility. The University of Santo Tomas and other educational institutions lacked strong scientific research programs, and there was minimal emphasis on practical training and laboratory work. Many Filipinos who pursued science-based professions received their education in Europe. Overall, the developments in science and technology during the Spanish regime in the Philippines were influenced by a combination of colonial policies, religious orders, economic priorities, and limitations in educational and research infrastructure. Despite these limitations, there were significant efforts made to promote education, scientific research, and economic development within the context of the colonial administration. American Regime During the American regime in the Philippines, which lasted from 1898 to 1946, there was a significant advancement in science and technology. This progress was driven by the establishment of an extensive public education system, scholarships for higher education in science and engineering, science research agencies, and science-based public services. The American colonial government played a pivotal role in promoting education, research, and technological development in various sectors. Key Highlights Public education system, the American colonial government introduced a secularized public school education system, which aimed to provide free primary education with English as the medium of instruction. Secondary schools, professional schools, and technical institutions were established to cater to different educational needs. 
University of the Philippines. The University of the Philippines, UP, was founded in 1908 as a government-supported institution for higher education. It had various colleges offering programs in agriculture, liberal arts, engineering, law, medicine, and more. Over time, Filipino scholars gradually replaced American and foreign faculty members. Scholarships for higher education. The colonial government encouraged Filipinos to pursue higher education in the United States. The Pensionados program provided scholarships for Filipino students to study various fields such as teaching, engineering, medicine, and law in American universities. Private education. In addition to public institutions, private nonsectarian universities were established to meet the increasing demand for professional education. Many of these institutions were created to preserve Filipino heritage and prevent complete Americanization. Government Research Institutions The Bureau of Science, later renamed the Bureau of Government Laboratories, played a crucial role in scientific research and development. Filipino scientists were trained at this institution and conducted research on diseases, tropical products, minerals, and more. National Research Council In 1933, the National Research Council of the Philippine Islands, NRCP, was established to promote scientific research. The NRCP participated in policy discussions and influenced the drafting of provisions related to science and industry. Economic Policies Despite the advancement in education and research, the economic policies of the American regime focused on agricultural exports and maintained a trade relationship with the United States. This emphasis on agricultural production delayed industrialization in the Philippines. In summary, the American colonial period in the Philippines witnessed significant developments in education, research, and technology. The establishment of public education, scholarships, research institutions, and private universities laid the foundation for progress in various scientific fields. However, economic policies prioritizing agriculture and trade relations with the United States influenced the overall direction of technological development in the country.